Ladies and gentlemen, it's a new day, and of course that means new JoJo episodes to watch with your boy right now, man. Um, we just finished episode 5, and uh, holy shit. That was definitely the best episode so far, man. Um, everything from White Snake's introduction to like the disc being stolen from Jotaro, and then the plot I feel like is starting to really, really unfold now with Jolene is basically trying to revive her father or at least she thinks that like if i get my di if i get the disc back um to jotaro then uh you know he'll basically come back alive because uh he's essentially dead right now you know previous uh video i was kind of like low-key coping i was like there's no way they're gonna kill off their flagship character jotaro in episode five man and you know like i would have been a little disappointed if that's like actually how he fully went out but no um, I definitely don't think that that's how he goes out. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really invested into, into the story right now. Last episode kind of concluded like the first arc, I guess, you know, with John Gallier and, you know, White Snake's introduction. You know, John Gallier is dead, by the way. White Snake killed him because obviously JoJo villains, they can't reveal their true self to anybody, man. They got to stay hidden all the time. Am I right? But yeah, nonetheless, everybody, I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am, man. I'm excited to get into today's episode. Um, if you haven't already, you know, make sure to go check out the previous five episodes I uploaded, man. I reacted to all five of them in one night, and right now, I don't know how many episodes I'm going to watch tonight, so uh, I guess we'll see, right? But yeah, everybody, like usual, make sure to click that like button and subscribe. We're on our way to hitting that 200,000 subscribers together, but nonetheless, man, I'm excited to watch, so let's get it. The prison's looking kind of spooky now. What the hell? The Punishment Ward. Oh, that's where we're going to be at, yeah, because we... I mean, the guards basically think we, we tried to escape jail, which, I mean, we did. Oh, shit. Hermes. Let's go. Finally, she's back. Jesus. Oh, this man creepy, bruh. How are you going to do this in, like, when she's sleeping, bruh? Hey, yo. Oh, she's getting medical attention, probably because, like, the guards are beating her ass in, like, the truck. Yo. I'm glad that we're finally getting to see more Hermes. I feel like starting from here, I feel like the episodes are going to get a little bit more episodic like each one's gonna be like focusing on one character and we got to build a party up and whatnot in typical jojo fashion episode six hermes's stickers so what her power is fucking stickers oh shit nah dude you 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 touch the you touch the arrow oh she gotta stand now oh to Gwes. yep okay so this is gonna be an hermes episode so i'm really curious to see exactly what her stand is about i i i faintly remember it from the trailer but like i don't know what it does I just know it looks dope as hell. Why do the stickers keep coming back? What is this? Her stand power is just you're creating stickers, I see. Okay. Okay, Aramis, give me a history lesson on Looney Tunes and Christopher Columbus. What the fuck, dude? Damn. I'm noticing, like, the stand power, dude. Like, their fucking hands are just exploding sometimes. Okay, it's duplicating things. That can be a really interesting... Oh, okay. Curious to see how exactly she's gonna use that to, to fight off people. Yo! <laughs> Yo, she's she can troll everybody with that power. Holy shit. He has the discs. I, I like the concept of the disc though. Like that's that's really cool. Wait, he, you just let him get up? So he just had the two discs in his head and like he's just going on about his business? Oh, she took it from him. Okay. So what? Nobody knows about this janitor guy? Oh, damn. I didn't even... Okay. That disc looks big as fuck, too. That thing is chunky. Holy shit. So the disc can can project what the... Okay, now it's melting into her. Okay, white snake. What the fuck is with these discs, man? All right, now it's time. Now we got to fuck this man up. He has an M. Oh, what? Like for McQueen? <laughs> it's like into his hair. He on his fucking Drake shit, bro. Hermes, this man is not all right. Nobody is all right in this prison. Everybody is insane. This man is a living embodiment of has <laughs> deprived of human touch. This man has never spoken to a female before in his life. Is the man about to hang himself? Uh, okay. Damn, that was quick as hell. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, we're into a stand fight right now. Shit is going zero to under real quick. First, this man, I'm thinking like, okay, obviously he's fucking crazy. He's he's kind of he's a little loopy, bruh. He doesn't seem like malicious at all, but he just seems a little loopy. He's like, all right, well, I'm just going to go kill myself real quick. Quickly just hangs himself, and now there's propellers growing out of Hermes's neck. And I'm like, what the hell, Jojo? Was a highway to hell? Oh, that's a cool that's a cool stand name. I like that. Damn, so this, this dude McQueen is, uh, he's evil. He has to kill himself to activate his stand power? I mean, highway to hell. I'm thinking like hell. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you got to duplicate and then bring it back. That's pretty cool, bro. Hermes, there's a lot of other people like you. Trust me, you about to find out soon. He's acting like a child. Like, oh, you saved me, you know? Like, oh, okay, that's cool. He like, he doesn't seem that malicious, but obviously, you know. What? Is so what? He did 
Oh, so like it's it's specific to how he tries to kill himself? Wow. Damn, this man has tried to kill himself a lot. She really split her nose so she can breathe. Yo, we gotta put this man into like the fucking straight jacket real quick. So I wonder if it meets the same requirements if we actually just do kill him. Like, does it stand activate on us too if we if we are the one that murders him? This is a really, really Oh, Emporio, what's good, bro? Are you gonna give us some cryptic message like you did to Jolene? Oh, here we go. We still have the disc. He did have two discs, right? A memory disc and a stand disc. Okay, so we need both. Yo, that man is cutting himself. Chill out. Yo, we gotta fucking restrain him or something. This is such a interesting... And he's getting electrocuted? What the fuck? So what, it's kind of like the same deal where like any damage dealt to him or like any type of thing he tries to do to himself, Aramis is gonna receive the same thing. Yeah, but there's fucking holes in my arm, Emporio. You know, we still gotta go stop this man. Oh, the infirmary, yep. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go there then. Yeah, McQueen, yeah, relax, bruh. Yo, Aramis trying to give that motivational speech right now. The gun was loaded. For some reason, you didn't, you didn't check. What the fuck? Wait, what? For real, dude, the, the amount of coincidence Incidents and I, I don't want to say luck because that's not lucky, but like, you know, like the chance of that one in like a billion. Okay, Hermes, what? There's no way this works on this man. Stop. There's no way that the solution right now and how we're going to solve this is for Hermes to give him her panties. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, someone... Some of the funny moments in the in the, in this anime so far, like they like I swear to God, like my expectations always get subverted. Like, what the hell? So this man, I mean, I guess technically he's innocent because he accidentally was he well, he was at, he was cleaning his shotgun, which he didn't know was loaded, and he accidentally shot, killed a woman who was attempting to kill herself, and killed her while she was falling, which is just like. Holy fuck, like the amount of coincidence with that. And then now he's just trying to kill himself all the time. And then that's his stand ability to where like, I guess, I don't know how it targets people or whatnot. Like, I don't know the requirements, but uh, this, this battle is just very interesting right now because of Aramis's ability to duplicate things and McQueen's ability right now of the suicide attempts. Like, holy shit, man. This man McQueen is like, uh, what the fuck? No shot, bruh. That man's like, wait, are you being serious? Damn, dude. Yo, McQueen hit us with that mean ass Uno reverse card right there. Damn, his cap senses are going off. Damn, okay, hit, hit him with the reverse Uno reverse card right there. Oh, no, he's still insane. Okay, I thought he was just gonna drop the controller. This man is looking crazy. Yo, the voice acting right now, holy fuck. This is intense. The visuals too, oh my God. Oh, we put a sticker on him. Oh, it's gonna like fuse back together. It's. It, Damn, that kill him? Oh, the disc. Oh, shit. That was from the trailer. Yo, her stand finally materialized. Hold on, her stand looks dope as fuck. Dude, all the stand designs in this part are like premium, on point. Like, holy fuck, they look so good, man. I just have to say that like, yo, Araki, he's always in his bag, but that man was truly in his bag when he was creating all these stand designs for this part. They just look, they look phenomenal. I just gotta say that. Now, I gotta say, this was another very bizarre and strange fight. McQueen, he was a very interesting, I guess, you know, villain right now that Aramis was going up against. I feel like it was kind of just, I don't even know, bro. Like, this this episode was just very strange. I, I'm, I'm glad that we got to see Aramis again. I just gotta say that Aramis' stand is dope. Her ability is super interesting. I, I really like how she incorporates it into how she solves her problems. Um, also really like her personality. She's really funny too. Um, but yeah, dude, um, we got the two discs back. So it seems like the disc. So Emporio explained it to where there's a, a memory disc, I think, which is like the actual person. And then there's a stand disc. So if we get both of them back, well, soul comes with two. So we actually need both of them. So we need Jotaro and we need star platinum for Jotaro to hopefully, you know, at least that I'm hoping for come back alive. So, okay. So I'm glad that we got more, you know, plot development with that. But yeah, very interesting episode. Aramis is back. So yeah, um, the, no problem with it at all. Really fun. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for episode six. We're officially halfway through the first batch of like Jojo episodes that Netflix has released. So uh, yeah, we're, uh, I guess we're just gonna keep going, man. So everybody, make sure to leave in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Also, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Like always, man, we're on our way to hitting that 200,000 subscribers together. But nonetheless, it's been your bar, guys. Have yourself a good-ass day, and I'm out. Peace.